Hey guys, it's Tara, and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be making chocolate strawberry muffins. You can have them for breakfast, you can have them for dessert, they're delicious but also healthy. But before we get started, if you haven't already, be sure to smash that subscribe button. Here is a list of the ingredients we'll be using today, they will also be in the description box below. To start, we're going to get a small bowl and add 2 tablespoons of flaxseed. Then we're going to add 1 fourth of a cup of filtered water and give that a good mix and we're gonna set that aside. That is gonna be our egg replacement, our binder for the muffins to keep these vegan. Next, in a small food processor, we're gonna combine one half a cup of raw walnuts and one half of a cup of raw almonds and we're gonna grind them up. We do not want these to turn to nut butter, so I'm just pulsing it here. It takes a little bit, a little bit of time in a food processor. If I had used my Vitamix, it would have happened a lot faster but just use whatever you have. Awesome. Look at that texture, that's about what we're looking for. Next, I'm gonna grab some of the sprouted oats and some hemp hearts, and I'm gonna take one cup of the oats and one half of a cup of the hemp hearts. To that, I'm gonna add a third of a cup of raw cow powder two teaspoons of maca powder and give that a good stir. If you don't have maca powder, you can omit this step. I just like the extra flavor that it gives it and the health benefits. To that, I am going to add one half of a cup of coconut flour and a half of a cup of almond flour. The coconut flour is pretty important here because it's gonna absorb a lot of the moisture that we're gonna be adding to this and you'll see, I'm giving that a good mix. Next, I'm gonna add one third of a cup of coconut sugar and two teaspoons of baking powder, along with one teaspoon of cinnamon. To that, I'm gonna add a few cracks of the Himalayan pink salt and also some of the black pepper. The pepper adds a nice special kick to this and give that a good mix. This recipe really is so easy, but feel free to change things up if you like and switch it up with chia seeds or any other kind of ingredient you like. Now I'm taking one medium zucchini and I am shredding it. The zucchini, you will not taste it and even really know it's in there. It's just gonna add a lot of great moisture and also nutrition. Watch your fingers. <laughs> you don't wanna shred those in there. Perfect. Zucchini, because it's so full of water, we wanna use it to help keep moisture in the muffins, but we also don't want it to have too much liquid. So I'm just using some paper towels and I'm gathering it up and I am going to squeeze this out into a separate container to get the water out. If you used a dish towel, it would be easier. I didn't have a dish towel right handy, so I used a paper towel. Next, I am preparing the strawberries. And so I am chopping up six medium to large strawberries. I prefer organic as these are part of the dirty dozen as far as berries go. And I am putting them back into that same food processor just to chop them up. If you don't have a food processor or wanna use the food processor, you could chop them by hand. I just really wanna get it um, so it's not liquid, but it's really pureed. I'm just adding that straight to the bowl along with the shredded zucchini. Next, I'm gonna add in that flax egg. Look at how gelatinous it has gotten. And I'm just pouring that right in. So we're just giving it a really good mix just to combine everything. It does not have to be perfect. This recipe is very easy. And feel free to make substitutions for any type of other ingredient that you would prefer. That's looking really good. You see how it's really starting to take shape? That's what we're looking for, perfect. I decided to add a fourth of a cup of plant-based milk. I used unsweetened almond milk, but use any type you like. Perfect. You see that? You see how I can actually shape that into a ball? You can make these into balls and bake them like that or press them into cookie shapes. I decided to do it this way. It makes it really easy. I use these silicone liners they just make it so much easier to pop these out. And I'm using a fourth of a cup scoop 
to make them just pretty even without having to guess. So I'm just loading them into each one of the cups. With the silicone cups, you don't have to do anything special. You don't have to spray them or grease them. Um, I actually really love them. And sometimes I don't even put them into the uh, muffin tin. I just place them like that on a baking sheet. Um, but I did it this way just for the aesthetic purposes. Just right. This recipe will yield you 12 muffins. Just right. So now I decided to add a little bit of a extra kick on top. So I took four additional strawberries and I chopped them up. You can use any fruit you like. If you wanted to put blueberries on top, mango, uh, or nothing, it's, it's really up to you. This is a very, very flexible recipe. Perfect, look at that. So I'm just kind of laying them on top. I'm not doing anything special with it. I'm really not even pressing it down. I'm just laying them right on top. It could not get any easier. Trying to just keep it even. Perfect. Then I decided to add a few more of these um, sprouted oats. So I took two tablespoons of them and just sprinkled them right on top. Then I took one and a half teaspoons of coconut sugar and I sprinkled it on top. If you wanted to try something different, you could use turbinado sugar um, or just leave that off if you wanted. I placed this into a preheated oven at 350 degrees and set my timer for 20 minutes. I actually left these in for 25 minutes. I just, I looked at it and thought it needed a few extra minutes. Look at that. Oh my goodness. They look so delicious. Ugh, so good and so easy. Just right. Love it. And remember, you can alternate this with anything, any other type of fruit that you like. You can even, instead of using the zucchini, you can use mashed banana. Um, you could use applesauce or even avocado would be a great choice. I just love to experiment. Oh my goodness, these look so delicious. Knowing that they're healthy so I can have them and not worry like I'm eating something I shouldn't be eating, but they also taste incredible, just makes it all the more like amazing. You can store these in the fridge for a few days or just stick them right in the freezer. That's what I do. And just pop one out in the morning and take it with you and it's a frost while, you, while you're traveling to work. Look at that. That looks so good. You would never know that there's zucchini in there. Trust me guys, you have got to try this. They are delicious. If you like today's video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up and I would love for you guys to join our community. So smash that subscribe button and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I post new things there throughout the week. Well guys, thanks for cooking with me and see you next time. Bye guys.